What? Finally! It's been a hot second! You and me, bounty hunter. God damn it, fucking burns. What's up again?
gonna crush ya! You might be able to stop one of us, but all the No way!
corpse ready for carving! No, wait, three of them? Fuck! Oh, alien biology. Always, like, it's just, it's just fucked. It's just fucked, really? Good, delicious. Now let me dig into the last bro. Visually better than the last. You know what? I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Mantuous? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Oh, okay, that sounds bad. <laughs> Bounty Hunter, I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. Uh-oh! I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Sorry, bounty hunter. We'll stop him, I promise. Well, that was fun. Thanks for having me. Where do we go now? To your home base? Oh, look who missed me! Ah, you killed the Skrendel brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you! You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm glorpy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Great. Another Gatlian. How many more can you hold? I feel like we're hitting the upper ceiling here. Yeah, I'm Creature. I'm all fucked up. So good to meet you. You know the drill by now. Turn in that bounty. Okay, why didn't you tell me you had the sickest bedroom ever? Hey, yeah. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean... My name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg, you need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my Frendelos and tongue kiss your sister? who bought those fucking friendalos and leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. 
tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweak, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Oh, come on. You shouldn't even get to decide. It's my house, too, you know? Fuck all of you. Aw. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Jean. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Hey, right, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Twig. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, Whoa, shut let's stay for a sec. Uh, like I was saying. Hey, shut up, Twig. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned. You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Twig moving in, right? Hell yeah! That's the right call! Twig's a creep! You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to... to kiss? <laughs> Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Bounty Hunter, he doesn't mean it. Whatever, have fun getting burgled.
So, uh, how's that mother of yours, George? She sucks. Come on now, that's no way to talk about the schweeb who birthed you. Yeah, right, and it's fun for me to say mean things. It gives me a little thrill every time I even think that I hate my mom. That's made in heaven. I hope Jorb didn't bother you too much. his crown and Jill came tumbling after Gary and Jill went up the hill <laughs> all right here's the skinny you're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous our team already has four guns isn't that enough I'm asking for real I really don't know trust me we need this Clug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian oh another Gatlian that's fantastic that's right Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer, a scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Don't get mad at me for not knowing this, because remember, my brain's been scrambled. But how would we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. I haven't known you very long, Gene, but I respect you more than anyone else I've ever met in my life. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately. And... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. The angle you saw initially, 
This is uh, the thing. Hey, uh, hey, tough guy. We're we're looking for a Doctor Giblets. You got you got any leads? Slick. What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ! Leave me alone. Quit the, the drug guys. No, I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Hey, what's up, Lordo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Did Blurdo seem a little dodgy to you? I swear I feel like he's hiding something. That's right. Yeah, let's come back when we know a little more and see if we can push this guy over the edge. You know, smuffle guys. Like just regular old plain smuffle guffins. You knew this! I don't think I could stay married to somebody. Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Look, I said I don't know nothing about Dr. Giblet, so leave me alone. Unless you want to buy something, that's different. You can still buy stuff from me, that's totally fine. Ah, oh, that piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead! Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detective! That was an S-rank interrogation! It's just gonna be confusing to know who's talking if you're doing my voice, so that's too bad people think it's not. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you. Okay, so we're looking for this new high oh, yeah, on life hey, store. Hey, yeah. Hopefully the slums are a little more chill now that we took out Nine Torg. Hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Everyone, get him! <laughs>
just got to see if you didn't like me or something. Do not forget to use my trick hole. So you gotta kill guys. Cities are fucked up places, see? They take everything from you and they make you live in the sludge. They even take your sludge, see?
I'm trying to talk normal. outside the high on life, see? What's the big deal? Why was it attracting the crowd? So many questions. And I'm asking them for real. I was not paying attention. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Store. I've been counting down the days. 
Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no trampling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Sudo, by the way. You know me. Hi, Sudo. I'm a detective now. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Well, that's a great idea. You're an even better detective than me. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, High on Life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fixed. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? These are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop fruit case for your Hyperbong? Oh, I'm so excited you asked! A Hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. Slow down there, slick. You're saying you know Dr. Giblets? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not not so good. It looks like we uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now.
Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Just when things start to look all rosy, two knucklehead lugs showed up to hassle us. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. You get to meet a lot of cool, silly people when you're a detective. Sometimes they even do the same kind of voice as you. A body. This was classic mystery stuff. Except it seemed very obvious this guy was trampled to death. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally, he was very bad. Fucked up. Yeah, that's fine. You could totally take those mag boots. Detectives aren't perfect. Sometimes they steal property off a dead corpse. But we'll do whatever it takes to solve the case. Hey, sick moves. You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than David Glutes ever did. Look at you!
Okay, I get it, I'm gross, but you put triple, yeah? You know, your holster's not as much fun as you might think. So cool. I wish I was fast and cool like you. I'm fine with who I am. Don't worry. I just want to be faster. Hey, do your best and have fun. You think I forgot you sided with this dipshit? I can't wait to see what allegations are in store for me next time. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Oh. Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. Oh, hey, you guys were really funny earlier. Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed. Pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. We get to meet a famous guy? Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hello. 
Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really gonna help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Oh, that's a good idea. I think we were already gonna do that. But then we hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. You're being hard to understand. Just tell us where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then you want us to, you know. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Wow, look! That's gonna be helpful, thank you! Make like a tree and get out. What's this? What did we just pick up? Oh, right. Sorry. The map data to get to Dr. Giblets. Forgot. I'm on the same page now. What are you doing here? Scram. I think really good. Cog may or may not have shown us where Dr. Giblets is. I'm a little confused, as usual. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Fill your days with wonder. Ah, oh, what a buy. I loved watching you buy that. That's right, I need to go back. Hell yeah! You're doing great work. Oh, God! It's so cool to 
decent. It's annoying to fight them, but it's cool that they have that many guys. Dipshit, I've been itching to get back in the game. Hey, it's me again, creature. The highway's evolving. Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway. Hey, I'm the youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord Asphaltia tomorrow. I'm not too excited about it, to be honest. I
How's it going? 